is Artastic. This is day two of the June Drawing Bonanza where I'm gonna post a video every single day for 30 days, the entire month of June. And today's video, we are drawing a cool butterfly. It has shades, it makes it cool. Anyways, <laughs> or it's just a butterfly wearing some shine, some sun, some sunglasses, some sunglasses. Try seeing that one really fast. Kind of, kind of, it's hard to get out your mouth. Anyways. We're drawing a butterfly wearing some sunglasses because it's summer. I put another S in there just because. So grab something to draw with and something to color with and let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at artastickids.com. All right, welcome to day two of the June Bonanza Drawing Challenge. So excited. Okay, butterfly time, guys, butterfly time. Let's do it. We're gonna make it a super cool butterfly. So we're gonna start off, and by cool, we're giving it sunglasses and it's happening. Okay, one big curving line. Just like that. Okay, curve over the end. And then we're going to do the shades, just like that. Okay, in the shades, add some rectangles on the diagonal. And they're going to color in those shades, leaving those rectangles nice and white. Now, I like to make the rectangles a little bit bigger because I can always trim them later by coloring in the black, but you can't make white paper reappear. So that's one thing to consider. Unless of course you're using pencil, then you can erase, but still it's always easier to give a little extra and take away later, than try to make things reappear once they're gone. That's a fact for anything in life. Okay. Guys, are you so excited for this drawing bonanza? Because I totally am. I like would love to hear what you would like to see me draw during this bonanza in the comments section below. So after you watch this video and draw, I would love to hear your thoughts about it. But also if you're taking part in the challenge and what you would like to see in either the bonanza or in future episodes. All right. Keep your ladybug, uh, ladybug, your butterfly some lips. We're actually gonna do a ladybug tomorrow. But, you know, a zombie ladybug. Let's do that. We'll make it different. Okay. Two U-shapes above. We're gonna do some antennae. Wrap it over. Anytime you need me to slow down, just hit that pause button. You can even hit play when you're ready to continue or rewatch steps as many times as you would like. Okay, drawing ahead. So we're gonna draw a circle. Well, sort of. An ovaly, circle-y, round shape around the glasses to make butterflies face. Add some fluffy, fluffy hairs around the neck. And then we'll do some legs. So we're gonna just draw some three curving letter V's on one side. And then we're gonna draw a body like a jelly bean shape. You can make whatever shape you want. Mine's curved down a little bit more steeply because of, well, my paper's gonna run out at some point. Now I'm just gonna have some three little V's, sideways letter V's, coming out there for the other side of the body, the legs peeking out just past the body there. You can add some extra detail by adding some lines. texture and hair and shading. You can do all kinds of things. Whatever you would like. All right, let's give it some wings. Let's add. 
upper wing. So on either side, just by one big diagonal line out and then wave it back in. And then we're gonna start part way down on each wing. And we're just gonna give it a simple wave and connect it to somewhere in the body. It doesn't need to be perfect or go back up in here because it's on the back side. So we're not gonna see where it actually is connecting to the body. So you don't need to worry about that. From there, you can design your own pattern. Of course, we're gonna take symmetry into consideration. So whatever you do on one side, you gotta do the same on the other. So for instance, if I add a circle up here in this top corner, I'm gonna add a circle up here on that top corner. If I'm gonna add a jelly bean or an oval over here, I'm gonna do the same on there. You can even double them up by adding a secondary design on the inside. Just remember that whatever you draw, you gotta color. And if you want to give it some expressive lines, you can add just some double lines around the wings and that's going to give it a sense of movement using line. And once you're done, you are ready to give it some color. So grab your favorite art making mediums and go ahead and color it in using your choice of colors and your favorite medium or whatever you have on hand.
and once you're done coloring your butterfly, your butterfly design is done. And I will see you tomorrow. Remember, we're doing 30 days every single month. Every single day of June, we're gonna be doing a design. So we're gonna become amazing artists by practicing drawing every single day this month. Remember to share your designs on social media using the hashtag Hashtag MsArtastic or tag me at MsArtastic, M-S-Artastic. And I will check out your artworks. I am so excited to see them. And remember to share these videos around and get your friends joining in as well. Uh, so that way you guys can all become amazing artists in as little as 30 days just by showing up every single day. Um, so subscribe to the channel and I will see you tomorrow for day three. Well, that's it for this episode. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, Ms. Artastic. And if you create anything and share it online on social media, please, please, I would love to see it. So take me at Ms. Artastic and I will check it out or join the community and conversation and use the hashtag, hashtag Ms. Artastic and I will check it out that way as well. And you can see what other people are creating who create with Ms. Artastic. YouTube videos. Well, that's it for this episode and I will see you in the next.